Hello everyone, I am a Shaden and this is Ashfire Gaming bringing you another live replay sent to you of course by me and of course courtesy of the players and speaking of players spotting up here in the top right hand corner representing Team Meet CND it is the Grandmaster Bowman and his opponent spawning down in the bottom right hand corner representing no team at all it is garage door and so this is going to be a grandmaster game so we are going to be expecting a lot of crazy things here at least i am because i do Woo. just kind of playing around with the uh the settings here mess around with it all right, so yeah, we're going to be expecting a lot of great things here. Um, it's been a couple of days since I was uh, did, did another cast. And yet here I am again, bringing this to you. Uh, once again, I don't preview any replays whatsoever, so I have no idea what's about to happen <laughs> at all in any game that you send me. So uh, if you do want any of your games to be cast, I cast all Bronze to Grandmaster, Team Games, and Arcade. So don't be shy, send them to ashfiregaming.esports at gmail.com. And so basically it looks like we got a pretty standard hatch first build from our Zerg. Um, so Rex, Gas, and RCC from our Terran player. <laughs> So we do have Bowman sending his cool looking overlords. See without the uh, current patch, can't actually quite zoom in here. There we go, hold on, there we go. Look at that. I can actually zoom in quite a bit there. That is insane. Man, that's pretty nuts. Anyways, let me go ahead and zoom back up here. All right. So he does know that his opponent's not going to be at the bottom right, at that far right anyway. So he is going to see the next the base here soon enough. Of course, it doesn't help him to know whether or not there's any cheese or shenanigans going on. So I guess he just has, has to hope and pray to whatever's their god. And it looks like he was trying to take a third, and it almost gets picked off by the Reaper, and it does not, does not at all. Reaper may stand a chance of dying without micro. And so he doesn't end up dying. So he is going to be able to get a scout off here. And from looking at Garage Door Cam, he is currently microing. Currently microing his Reaper. There we go. Now I can kind of see what exactly what he's looking at. I had it on follow for a minute, so <laughs> go ahead and see his vision. And he's going to come in. He's going to get the scout. He's going to see a lot of things. Does he lose the Reaper? And it looks like he is going to. Oh, he does manage to get in, though. Can he save the Reaper? And oh, the Reaper starts regenerating health. He may lose it here if the Queen catch, catches him out. And oh, and the Reaper does die. We'll go ahead and go over to Bowman Cam. Bowman's over here trying to get his macro on. His creep spread on, and there goes that second attempt for his third. Unfortunately, now there is no Reaper for him to be delayed by. So we are electing to go now for the third and into ha Layer Tech. <coughs> Just now kind of getting his uh, saturation for his natural a little bit going here. And it looks like. Oh, I guess there was a Zergling trying to kill these 
bio units. And there's their little zergling. Which is going to be roasted toast. Although, our uh, zerg player does know that this drop is coming. Drop comes down and the zerglings were already on the way. He isn't, I don't think he's going to be able to burrow it in time. No, the widow mine does go out and loses that drop immediately. Wasn't able to get a whole lot done there. He is trying to swing back. I guess he's going to go on home now. But this failed drop does leave a little bit of more opportunity for Bowman to kind of make a few more drones or a few rounds of units or whatever he kind of wants to do. He is electing, however, to go for Spire Tech and cloaking and stim is practically done well stim's about halfway done but anyways so it does look like the queen was trying to take a pop shot at the medevac <sighs> sorry ladies and gentlemen a little yawn there get myself all woken up but the zergling is in good position to see whether or not expansions are going to be taken and they do know. I'm sure if they poked in, they will have seen the third. Let's see if uh, Bowman's seen the third. Our forces have engaged the enemy. Oh, 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 oh. Man, look at these little units. That is so crazy. That is so crazy. Those mutilisks. Oh, man. And there it is. Boom! The Banshee goes down. And we'll go ahead and take a look here. Looks like we're going double upgrades still. Gonna almost get stim the next couple of seconds. And right after that, we're gonna be getting plus one attack for our Gauss rifles and bio. <laughs> and let's see here, Zerg. Should be getting ready to take the fourth, probably with an attack at some point. I would like to see. Actually, we're going for a hive tech, and there's no uh, baneling nest at all. This is a weird game, guys. Not gonna lie. This uh, Grandmaster Bowman, I've played him actually a couple times myself. No baneling nest. I don't understand this at all. Usually, you go baneling nest. Unless it's hiding. Let's see. Yeah, no baneling nest at all. So, going right into hive tech. So, ultra list. Muda, I guess is the name of the game. The third was elected to be taken up here in the front on the Zerg side. Very bold move, but the creep spread here is going to be able to give the vision of that very soon of exactly what's going to be happening. But I think Bowman's trying, I mean, uh, Garage Door's trying to go ahead and make a wall here, so it's going to have to be busted in some form or fashion. Unless the creep spread can get up here and kind of block it. That would be actually kind of cool. Not going to lie to you. That is going to be kind of cool. But the Marine is taking pop shots. He could just... Oh, I was going to say he could just try and kill that uh, little dude. So he knows that that base isn't taken. Zergling's just going all over the place trying to get good vision of any potential base that could be had. And he's going to kind of swing around. He's going to see a bunch of Marines. Going to weave in and out of there. So now our Zerg knows exactly where the base is. And is that Zerg going to get a kill? Oh, no. He finally does die. But the enemy garage door does not quite have any idea about this little flood of Zerglings. And our Zerg is actually going right away for that uh, extra armor for the for the Ultralisk. And oh my gosh, the wall is let down. These Zerglings are going to be able to make a heyday over here. And just burrow one widow mine. Oh no, how many, how many SCVs are going to die with this though? Oh, a few of them just go right into the mix. <whistles> Anyways, we do have an engagement. And it looks like all these queens. We are doing a queen ultralist build. We've seen this before, folks. Just constant, constant, constant transfuse is the name of the game with those queens. But the queens are out of position. 
Is Garage Door going to be able to hold this? And I think the answer is going to be yes. The Queens are way out of position. They're not here for the Transfuse. They are now going to be able to do it, but it's a little bit too late. The steam in this push, I think, had to kind of make him retreat. He's going to have to get these Ultralisks back up and running here. And now Garage Door is electing for a drop. You can go ahead and follow this drop here and see what happens. A little bit on the slower side. He's not boosting yet. There goes the boost, and it's spotted by the Overlord. They know it's coming, but the fourth could still be dying here very soon. And, yeah, I think he knows. He knows. Well, he may not have spotted it quite here yet, but here it comes. I think this fourth is toast. Boom, 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 and here comes the army from the Zerg. They're running over here to save it, and no, the cancel is forced. So the Zerg is forced to stay on three base, but his third is not fully saturated because he elected for the really fast tech. And so it looks like these Ultralisks may be able to bust through here, but now we have the Liberators here. They're going to be able to hold us. The supply depots are going down, but there's absolutely nothing these Ultralisks can do. 3-3 three, three on the way for Garage Door. And actually nothing in production at all for Bowman. So it looks like Bowman is trying to end it here. Drop going down again. And he's going to get the queen. Yes, the queen dies. And drones are dying. Okay, looks like we're going to have another engagement here. But our Terran knows it's there. Dude, what if? Because he doesn't have vision, does he? Does he have an overlord there? No, he doesn't. He can actually place the Widow Mines up on the high ground. He would have got away with it. But it looks now like uh, like this Zerg Bowman's going to have to retreat. Oh, no. He's actually got too close. But the... Oh, the Liberators went down. Liberators going down to the Queens. Uh oh, this could be anybody's game with bad micro. The Garage Door can lose it. Bowman can win it. And it looks like Bowman's going to have to go on home. We do have Corruptors to deal with any of the libs. So Bowman is actually going to be able to get back into this game. Unless another good drop can take place. And I think that's what's exactly on the way. If he can just keep Bowman down to three base. That could theoretically be the game. We have a Planetary on the way. Along with another CC. So Garage Door going to be able to take his fourth base. It'd be actually kind of cool to see a Nidus play here because of this good placement of the uh, Overlord. But I don't think that letting... I don't think he's going to get away. Nope, all these guys are going to die! But it could have been a distraction because now we have this army pushing in. I'm going to take a look at our army supply tab here. 108 to 84, but this army is much stronger for Bowman right now in a direct engagement. And Queens did end up dying. Looks like the natural is going to be gone here. He's just running in and sniping bases. He may be actually able to get this hive tech. If he can get the hive and the ultralist tech, this could be huge. He is going to get it. He gets the hive. He's going to get the ultralist tech. He's going to get the greater spire. There's absolutely nothing that Bowman's going to be able to do. He's not even moving his units. I think just just the small hit and run play here was made Garage Door able to take this here. Oh, I don't know why he didn't get that. Uh, there we go. I was like, whoa, he's just gonna fly away. He's not gonna get the spawning pool either. And I tell you, like he really needed that baneling nest. I really think with a baneling nest, Bowman really could have won this. Those handful of lings could have destroyed a lot of the bio. And now we got another drop. The fourth is going down once again. And now this leaves one base. And we do have a counterattack coming, but this is going to be held. A few Broodlords, though. I don't know. This could be crazy. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. We got a retreat coming home from all this bio. So much damage done from Garage Door, but the real question is, can he hold the broodless, Broodlord push right now? If he can hold the Broodlord push, and with these Queens transfusing... He will more than likely win the game. He's going to drop in behind. 
Yes, he drops him from behind, but the Broodlords are automatically attacking. So he does pull back. And he stems forward. Is it going to focus him down? Okay, Broodlords are going down. Broodlords are going down. But I think the bio... Oh, the queens are actually being taken out from behind. So there's not going to be much transfusion. Bowman throws the GG. And Garage Door is able to take out Bowman, legendary Grandmaster. Doing a epic build with the queens and ultralisks. Definitely did get ahead of himself without having the queens to transfuse in his first push. I think he might have could have won it if that, those queens were together. But at the end of the day, Garage Door was able to defend and come out on top. There you have it, folks. Grandmaster level game. Wow. Huh. This is not exact, not at all what I uh, expected out of this game. So kudos to that. That is absolutely phenomenal. I love seeing games where the underdog ends up coming out on top. So that's absolutely phenomenal, guys. Once again, send your replays if you'd like to see them get cast. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys later.